The Rodman Mountains was the first day of our adventure. The goal was to just get a tour and a sampling of what we saw there. Unfortunately, I didn't do any monologues or any intros, so I'll have to do this voiceover for you guys. Hope you enjoy the photos. There was a lot of unexpected things, and uh, we'll definitely will be going back there uh, someday soon. Hey everybody, it's Andy here from the Oil Twins Oil Trend Adventures. We're out here at the uh, Lava Tubes off the 40. Gonna give you guys a little tour of what's going on. So enjoy. Well, we're out here at the Pisca Craters doing some tubing, some lava tubes here on our way to the Mojave Megaphone. We took the uh, 40 out, got off on Hector Mine Road, went down the 66 a bit, and... Uh, Went around this little butte and plenty to do and explore out here for people who like to crawl into small places. It's really surreal being here. It, it's just so much like being on another planet. And you got all kinds of different colors to play with. You got black dirt and black sand. and uh, Just to see the awesome power of, of molten magma is very humbling anyhow we'll catch up with you guys here when we get back on the road head over to the mojave megaphone Well, our adventure took us up here to the Mojave Megaphone. Everybody's getting some fun pics. Got some good stories about it. Thoroughly convinced that it actually is a drum. You look at it and it says drum. Here's a little view of the valley. Got the Jeeps down at the bottom. Everybody's having a great time. Well, we're out here in Acton Canyon, about ready to go into Spooky. Got a little treat, got a train going by. And a jet. And a jet. Right there, right there. Yeah, it looks like a F-18. <laughs> Train's still going by, but here's the open news of Spooky. Spooky. It could be Spooky too if you're a Justin Scarred fan. Anyhow, if I get some more fun picks while we're in there. Still then, hang on. Well, we're inside here, spooky. What? Got to about the third level. 
we're just getting uh, acquainted with the place, so we're not going to do much more than that. You see behind me, way out. Pretty cool. Bring a flashlight. Day three of our adventure finds us once again in the Mojave Preserve, specifically at the Mojave Cross. Uh, Mojave Cross was first erected in 1934 in honor and memory of all those military who died in World War I. It was rededicated in 2012 after uh, court battles to keep it here were, were won. And uh, there's stories on the internet you can follow on that. Uh, sign here reads, dedicated for all who gave all. For those who gave all. cross isn't where I thought it was. I thought it'd be on a really, really high peak. Uh, it's beautifully placed on this uh, collection of boulders here. I'll get it in the shot behind me. And uh, we're going to head over there right now and get some fun pics of the Mojave Cross. Well, we're up here at the cross, and uh, it is quite a story that took place here. The fought, the battle that was won, the men of the VFW who made sure that it stayed in place and lovingly put it back up, that freedom of religion is still a part of our country today. It's a good thing. Well, the next stage of our trip here finds us on the Mojave Road. We came in from uh, Kelso Sema Road in Cedar Canyon. Uh, a nice marker here placed by the ECV is a good uh, reference point to get on the road. Well, we made it out here to the Mojave mailbox. The road is a little bumpier than I remembered it. So everybody's in one piece, and we're going to get some fun pics out here and sign the log. Up. All right, we're here at the Traveler's Mound. Thank you for your help. Okay. It's been a trip. I forgot how bumpy this road is. You really got to be dedicated to want to do this and 
Grateful for our friends that came out with us. We're enjoying a beautiful sunset. Got the Jeeps out here. Made it through. I'd have to say mission accomplished for the day. Great day, great family, lots going on, as you can tell. The Traveler's Mound here on the old Mojave Road.